All right. What we probably want to do is show uh, this and this. On the left-hand side is a team music display area, and on the right-hand side is a team music display area, and they look identical with the exception that these colored kits are not yet on the left-hand side. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change Part Something YouTube Test. In today's episode, we set out to do a test stream on YouTube. And the reason we have to do that is because uh, we needed to recreate a build in Second Life that we have already created in Firestorm. And as a matter of fact, the build on the right is Firestorm right here. And we've shared this a lot on our regular Twitch stream. And this, we, uh, we updated this whole thing. And in particular, we have a music awareness display and we have a hybrid tech and cross-dimensional thinking 3D orchestra kit display. And then we have an interactive playable kit. However, we needed to duplicate it in Second Life, and that's what this is. This is in Second Life, which is not allowed to be streamed on Twitch, so we had to quick learn how to stream it on YouTube. And that was kind of fun. This is kind of what the interface looks like on YouTube for streaming. But we're still using OBS, but we don't have the stuff we're used to seeing on the left-hand side. Plus, we don't know... We're, we're literally recording this recap because we have no idea whether YouTube automatically recorded our whole stream or not. Nevertheless, we successfully did that. And so what we did in today's stream was spend a bunch of time in both environments and recreating to the actual dimensions. For example, the backdrop here, the gray backdrop, is... is... It is 23.2 by 6.5. And so over here, we edit this one, edit linked object. It is also 23.2 by 6.5. So we went through and did that for each one of these separate objects on the right-hand side. Because we did a test, we had done a test where we downloaded a model, for example, of this synthesizer. It's easy enough to do. You just go right click more, more, save as Collada model. And we were able to upload it, but it comes out kind of looking like this on the left hand side. It looks like crap. It doesn't resolve very nicely until you get really, really, really close. And there's probably all kinds of mesh reasons for that. Same thing with the drum kit. Looks really great over here. Looks crappy over here, or as we like to say, low poly. And then the keyboard itself, um, same issue. So we have lessons to learn there. But the point was, there was not going to be any shortcut where you could just download the thing from the right-hand screen and upload it to the left-hand screen and avoid that tedious dimension-by-dimension uh, dimension reconstruction. Anyway, we got that done. And so we've learned a lot. We should probably record that. We have learned a lot. Learned a lot more about uh, crossing between virtual environments. What can and can't be done. And we have more to go. So, so we do kind of like that. Um, we like that we, we especially like, and this ends the stream, by the way, we especially like getting this thing set up because this is coming up this month, this very month, and we do need to recreate these drum and piano and synth kits uh, over here. And the, basically the technique is that we just, up, we already have all the source files ready to go. For example, for example, we have something called piano kits on the desktop right here. And we have a lot of wave source files and there's all the scale, there's the symbol. Yeah, and the snare. And that's exactly, that's exactly what's being played over here. 
especially if you if you zip up close to it. And then similarly, similarly over here, the uh, all the notes are in there as well. If you've been following our our streams, you know what I'm talking about. And we didn't have to recreate any of these images; we just uploaded them directly from our our hard drive. But what we did have to do was recreate the 3D models. That was the pain. The pain is having to recreate 3D models from scratch. And, you know, in an ideal world down here under ideas next time, we'd say, learn how to do Blender to upload, blah, 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 blah. We don't know yet. We, we've become so used to and comfortable with creating 3D models directly in Firestorm and directly in Second Life that we, we recreated all of these. Yeah. Even this simple one here that um, we don't know yet. We don't know if we're ready to invest that time. So a shout out to Miss Clea who kept our nose to the grindstone today. Tune in next time to see what happens. Tune in next time to see if if there's a, a recap. We think there will be because we're recording it. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming. <laughs>